Are you not entertained? Isn't that why you come here? You take a Jefferson nickel and then yeah, you get... You aren't all out on this thing yet, but... Uh, yeah, they you know, it's... together with duck food. <laughs> yeah, it's tone of the day for sure. Is that your first gold ring? Yeah. First one, first gold ring ever, 14 yes. carat. It's a little beauty. Yeah, we got a video of that. Yeah, he got one too, but mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works. We got a field here, and we got a group going here, and the first person here is a newcomer. This is Pete. And uh, I'm the old come up. And we got Gino, also known as Sodbuster, and we got you know you know that guy. That's that guy. Hey, what are we gonna dig today, Kelly? Well, you know, Richard, you know you always ask me that, and I say we're gonna dig it all. All kinds. All right, I know the wind's blowing, and I don't know how the audio is gonna come out. I'm using Noka Impact. You can see Pete's over there with AT Pro, Gino's up there with AT Pro, and Kelly's. Oh, there's. No. Kelly's nowhere to be found. And I got my first old relic with the Noka. And we got an Akshu, or a Colonial 2 Iron, is what I like to call it. Alright, on our next little find we got here, and it was deep, 8 inches or so, an old, old pocket knife. And that style there, I can't tell if that's Civil War era or not. Just too much of it gone. Okay, we'll see if we get anything else. All right, there's Kelly over there. He said he was going to wander around, but he ended up back at the same place. Anyway, out of this hole, I got the FU buckle. The FU buckle, how about that? What's neat about this, it's still got some of the leather and a rivet in there. Alright, just dug something, I got Kelly coming over. Looks like he's freezing to death. Yep. Did them other guys go to, go to their cars to warm up? Is that what they did? I think they're on the back side. Okay. I ain't seen him in a while. I saw Gene headed towards his car a little while ago, I didn't know what he was doing. I just looked over here and I thought, that's a mighty fine looking hole. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so there's gotta be What's something. that green thing there? My god. Ain't that a beauty, huh? Oh yeah. That's sweet. That's nice, huh, Rich? Nice one. Hey, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Still got a little hook in it. Yeah. Ooh, you scuffed it. You know, it was just a, just a, it weren't a great, great signal, but it was a signal. You know, what else I got? Got a pocket knife. No, and I, I already told you I got an ox shoe. Yeah, she's a little smushed, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a nice little piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're all kind of congregating over here in the cow manure because we're not all that bright, but that most of the field doesn't have cow manure <laughs> spread on it, so we decided to walk over here. Oh, yeah, Pete's big, digging up a iron signal. It could be maybe an axe head. Or who knows? Gino's coming up. Because he likes to walk in uh, cow poop too, it looks like. Find anything, Gene? There it is. Yeah, there you right, go. Sitting on edge or something. We're just gathering, we must have found something. <laughs> Find anything? I found a stinking Lincoln over in the triangle. Well, there you go. Uh, I've got a couple of. <laughs> so far, I got prizes of the day. why even if they sound like iron in the hole you get the little little piece of iron on the top that will not give you a clean signal complete too huh? That's yeah it's a little smush not by B but probably by the plow equipment I found a... all right Kelly says he might have some what, what was that again that is a colonial cock <laughs> colonial dildo right <laughs> and I never stop till I get a matchbox car and we know how that match box car got out here. It was lost in the barn, come through the cow, out the rear end, out here for Kelly to find. This was a hot stopper. Okay, well. I we... had a nice big sound. <laughs> Look at that. There's your, there's your big copper right there. Yeah, big copper. <laughs> yeah, boy, I said, I got something good, I got something good. And I saw a little roundness. That would sound around. really good. It did. Yeah. That was my only really good signal of the day. But yeah. it was fun. Kelly's sifting through the iron. I dug one of these rare horseshoes 
with a little piece on the bottom there. Can't remember what that was for, but you don't see them that often, with that little tail piece there. We got one more tooth. One tooth, horseshoe. Horseshoe, I don't know what that is, but kind of a bracket. Colonial uh, motorcycle kickstand. <laughs> In it. Washer in it. Yeah. Probably something. CCR, yeah. Tack, square nail. Nothing spectacular. I did get one. Alright, here's over. my wrap up. My iron, spoon bowl, lantern top, seven of these uh, hay cutting tips, and a hook, a little chain, a little pocket knife, a little uh, leg for stove, I believe. Of course, I got the chrono bell. Ox shoe, a whole bunch of iron. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this. This is in, out of the old clock for the house. So we got the gears in there and stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting. All right, it's pretty chilly out in that field that day. And Kelly and Peter didn't find a whole lot. So we didn't do tailgate wrap up with them. We did show Eugenio's finds and my finds, of course. And this video is a little short, so we do a little story time. As you know, I used to work in the paper mill for about 30 years, and we got all kinds of people that work in the paper mill. It takes all kinds to make paper, we say. One time, um, the window shut down in the finishing end of the paper room. They called the back shift guy. The back shift guy is a mechanic who comes and does repairs and gets you running again. His response was, and his name was Dennis, and he was from the South, so I'll do my best Southern accent. He said, you are number three on my list. I haven't inspected my buggy. I haven't had my lunch. And the guy says, well, the wind is down, the room's backed up. We're going to shut down the whole mill if we don't get, get this running. You have moved up to number one on my list. And then he showed up a few minutes later upstairs in the control room. Y'all have any donuts? It could be a while. And that's a true story from the paper mill. I've got a few I've shared with you over the last year or so, and I'm sure I'll have a few more for you. Just remember, it takes all kinds to make paper. All kinds. Standing tall, invincible, but do not forget your nights. your friend death don't you forget that she will die don't you fall sad slur Navigate all alone, honest and best. You